you guys, we're here with Christopher Raven on our London Fashion Week 2010. Um, Christopher, we ran into, we love your design, especially the rabbit as you can see here. Very uber cool. Can you tell us a bit about this? Um, well, the rabbit in particular, it comes off the, um, the back of the fact that we do all of our own production. I'm very, very proud. Uh, all of the garments that you see behind us are all made from reappropriated military fabrics. Right. And so uh, we do all of our own production in East London. Right. And of course, we still have some scrap. Right. Some leftovers, and we make them into the rabbits that you're holding here. So, yeah, pretty much um, all of the garments they produce some waste, yeah. and it's quite nice to be able to make something a little bit special that we can, that we can, uh, yeah, use to, to use up, uh, up that uh, fabric. We love that. We love them. I mean, who's been using those rabbits so far? Is anyone out there who's uh, well using, using them? them? Probably the wrong word. Let's how, cut that how out. Dare you. Okay, how dare I? Apology, apologies all round, guys. Um, yeah. So, who's been? I guess, kind of showcasing the rabbit okay well obviously it's only day two now at london fashion week so right. um we've uh, we've not had like orders on the rabbit yet right. okay. but we did a dog last season and it was sold uh, to ten corsicoma in italy wow. stores in japan brown's focus here in london wow. uh, are doing them for christmas so it's a really nice thing for us to be able to to give to key stockers and yeah. key, key buyers and then it's it's a fun thing that everyone can kind of interact with as well wow Let's start with the menswear then. Who does um, this kind of appeal to? Where do your designs come from? Well, um, my references uh, are often based on the, the military kind of functionality. Okay. I, I, um, I absolutely love those type of garments, but right. then um, you'll see from the colours and, and the kind of palette that we use, I like to be quite playful and I think it's yeah. really important that it's not too sombre. Yeah. And so. Um, we kind of we play a lot with that contrast between the military functionality right. and then urban kind of sportswear. We stock here in London at Harvey Nichols and Liberty, right, okay. so um, wow. it's it's the right kind of customer. Um, I'm very proud of those stockers here. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, um, going back to the whole fashion thing, when you were younger, were you considered as an as a I guess a an icon in terms of fashion, would you say, growing up when you were younger? Or was I considered? Were you considered as a fashion icon? Would you say no, you were a fashion I've icon? Got, I've got two older brothers, so I was, oh, more, right. I was like a hand-me-down icon. Oh, well, yeah. I guess everyone I goes through that. Everyone goes through that, the whole hand-me-down thing. I think so. Yeah, I think it's part of the whole creative process, I guess. I went through a phase of only wearing suits for everything, right. absolutely everything, all day. <laughs> to uh, the shops? To the shops, to, to university, you name it. And uh, where, where did that come from? That's a bit random. Well, it's funny. I, like all of my work is about uh, intelligent use of fabrics, right. about sustainability. Right. And for me, um, a really good suit right. made in Savile Row, yeah. that is really good intelligent design, you know. Right, it's yeah. made to fit. Yeah, definitely. And it makes so, you feel good. If it's yeah, good absolutely. Right. And uh, where do you see fashion going, I guess, uh, 50 years time from now? Where, what, do you think, what do you see people wearing? Like meat outfits like Lady Gaga? Or do you say like people making their own things or bin liners? you think? Um, I don't think it's going to be bin liners, I can say that. <laughs> well, it's, it's a recession. Yeah. Well, what I've actually found personally is that uh, in kind of the current financial climate, yeah. people are more uh, tending to buy uh, higher price point pieces, yeah. really special pieces. Yeah, yeah. And speaking personally about my company, it's been the higher price point pieces that have sold through a lot better. Yeah, yeah. And the reason for that is people are looking for something very unique, very special. Yeah. And I really hope that trend carries on you know yeah. there is now a reaction to the Primarchs and the top shop yeah, and yeah. that kind of generic yeah, fashion yeah. fast fashion yeah, yeah, yeah. so I hope that that will carry on and in 50 years time we could have a lot more uh, individual customers who are really looking for something a lot more special 